So today I will take you with me as I work as a chronic hemodialysis nurse. So this is my workplace. I work in a chronic dialysis center um, here in Washington State. So first, let's clock in. So my shift is actually 5 a.m. to 2 in the afternoon. Yes, you heard it right, 5 a.m. So I usually wake up at 4 in the morning. By the time I got to work, all of the machines have been set up and tested already by the technicians. As you can see here, we can actually treat 10 patients every shift. So now, as you can see, I'm putting my gown. This is the smallest gown available and still looks so big for me. And when you are actually on the treatment floor, putting in and taking off patients, you are expected to wear a face shield. Before my first patient arrives, I do my morning checks, which includes medication refrigerator temperature checks. I do my medication count. This is to ensure that we also have enough inventory and all the medications have been ac accounted for. So I do it once in the morning and then the closing nurse do the medication count before he leaves the clinic. Then, if I still have time, I start preparing the medications of my patient. So, um, as you can see, most medications only receive two particular types of medication, epogen and hectorol. These are the two most commonly used medications um, in the dialysis setting. But wait, you're probably wondering, what are you talking about? What is hemodialysis? Hemo means blood. That means in this process, we are cleaning the blood by taking it out of the body and running it through an artificial filter. So blood is taken out of the body and run through these tiny fibers where the cleaning process happens. And then once it is clean, the blood goes back to the patient. So for us, it's our kidneys who are actually responsible for doing this. But for dialysis patients, because their kidneys are not good, then they need this machine to actually clean their blood. So now I have time to do other tasks like medication reconciliation, processing doctor's orders, and assessing patient's target weight.